80%. 80% people, on average, 80% of the time we use lower order thinking questions. That is not going to help our students in the long run. We need to push them into higher order thinking questions so that they can process information. That's what's going to help them. Here's an example of how to use the question continuum using student agency. How do I learn? Let's see how it goes. The lowest order thinking question, the ones we just have to answer yes or no to, is ask students whether they consider memorization as a valid way of learning. They have to really start thinking about what helps them really learn things. This who question gets them thinking about whether they like studying with people, without people, and what kind of people they are. Loud, quiet, they need to move, they listen to music. What in the world do they really like to do? As we move up the continuum, the when question gets students more in touch with their biological signals. Do they process information better in the morning, or do they remember things more easily towards evening? It's important for them to know this so that they can learn to plan accordingly. Another really important self-knowledge question is the where one. By asking them this, we give them the opportunity to become more aware of the choices they make when they want to do quality work. Now we're going to the deeper thinking questions where processing thoughts and information gets a little more sophisticated. Students get in touch with their learning styles and think about how they need information presented so they can learn more effectively. A really well-structured how question, is this one, will open up a whole breadth of possible answers. This one will hopefully give the students opportunities to think seriously of why they're in school and how their studies might help them in the future, and also what might happen if they decide to abandon their studies. And then the what if question, the most fun, hypothetical situations that can spin students into thinking creatively if you let them and arrive at conclusions they might have never expected to put together. So that's just one example of dozens you'll find at scaffoldingmagic.com. So go in and find them and have fun making up your own.